In this video, guys, we're gonna look at when you're on a good trading run, what should you do? Press harder or scale back? Stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Right, so this is very personal, of course, and everyone's different and everyone kind of approaches things from different perspectives. But maybe if you think about this now, then when you do have a good trading run, and believe me, if you stay in the game long enough, you don't blow up your account, you find a strategy that starts to work for you, have the mental clarity and discipline, you will have a good trading run and you'll be in a nice position where you go, ah, I remember that video from back then, it was press harder or scale back. Um, I guess there's a third one of just carry on as you are and that's perfectly acceptable as well, but most people tend to do one or the other. Most people go, oh, well, you know, should I scale back now, should I press harder? Uh, and in reality, carrying on as you are is not a bad option. That's probably the default option, in fact. You need to carry on as you are, do what's working, carry on, uh, and take, just keep moving forward. But some people look at it differently, and I'll kind of tell you mine in, in a moment. Some people say, okay, I'm going to scale back, you know, because I want to protect what I have. Um, you know, I can get a little bit cocky and think I'm a bit of a king of traders, and, you know, I'm a genius and stuff, and, and conditions are probably going to change anyway. And, and, and for some people, that's the right thing to do. For some people, they get very, very cocky, they get very overconfident when they have a good run and they give it all back. If that's the pattern, behavioral pattern for you in trading, then definitely scale back. Pause, take stock of the situation, kind of draw a line and just think, right, okay, good, that's good in the bank, that's fine, right, let me push forward, get rid of the cockiness, start from zero in your mind and move forward. You know, the press harder, which is, I think that's the, 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 the camp that I'm in. You know, I feel having been through, you know, very many years of different conditions that when the conditions are right and you're on in form as well, you just got to put the throttle down. And again, my personal opinion, everyone's different. Everyone trades differently. Some people are like, no, 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 keep it steady. But if conditions are good, you don't know how long those conditions are going to be there for. I don't know how long we're going to have the good, right conditions for my edge and my strategy. And so... You know, if it's working and there's evidence to see it's working, then I'm going to press a little bit harder. I'm going to dial up the risk. You know, that's what pressing harder means, by the way, guys, dialing up the risk on, on some of the best plays and putting a bit more on the table and really trying to extract as much as I can from these fruitful conditions. You know, and also, I know a lot of people are anti this, and I get it. I understand exactly where you're coming from. You know, when I say you've got some cushion, that was not it's your, you know, you know, it's, it's not house money, it's your money. You know, it's the same as it's no different as you had hundred grand. If you've made hundred grand, I know, I get it, and it's the same with unrealized PNL as well. I get it. It's in your, you could have at any point, but for some reason mentally, if you've made hundred k, ten k, one k, whatever in the past couple of weeks or month, then you know, you and you, and you normally would make a tenth of that, for example. You can't help but feel okay. Well, I've got a bit of a head start here. You know, I've got. 10 months what I've expected or whatever the situation may be, then it becomes a different way of approaching it. Now, you've got to be careful, you don't get cocky and think oh, I'm playing with house money, who cares? But at the same time, you can think, well, I've got a bit of a cushion here. Even if I gave back 30% of what I've made, I'd still be very happy. So why don't I allocate a little bit more capital? Why don't I push the throttle down a little bit more? Why don't I press harder while the opportunities are present? Because as I well know, and you may well know, the cyclical nature of the market means that sometimes the opportunities disappear. And the same with your performance, just sometimes you're just stagnating performance. So why not utilize on this and turn the screw, really give it some, some, some well, I'm not saying go crazy and start to put everything on the line, but at the same time, you've made much more than you're expecting. You've had a very, very good run. Why not use some of that as a risk capital? And I know there's some heat going to come from people saying, hey, it's not really risk capital, it's money you've got, etc." But I think mentally for many people, they go, actually, you know what, it's cushion. It's stuff that I can afford to give it back and still be comfortable, still not affect me mentally, still be on my game, all this kind of stuff. So that's a kind of one way of looking at it. The final one, guys, is you have a good grip on your mental state. So you've got to be very much in tune with how you feel. You know, you can't be like, okay, well, it was a lucky run. You gotta be like, okay, I'm being disciplined. I'm cutting the losers. Um, my, risk, my risk management is, is really, really good. It's tight. Um, you know, I'm recognizing some of the winners. I'm stepping back when I'm not in, in, in on form on a very short-term basis. And you've got a good grip and control of your discipline and the way you structure your trades and your trade management, all that kind of stuff. Because without it, you know, you're gambling. You're kind of gonna be, oh yeah, I've had a good run, and then bang, it's gonna be given back. So 
you know, and, and, and using that as, a, as an opportunity to say, well, I have got a good grip on mental state. I have got a good discipline. I have been working well. The strategy's been working well. Conditions are good. Let me press a little bit harder. Let me see if I can extract more from these conditions whilst they're there, because who knows what's going to happen next month, next quarter, next year. Now, it's not for everybody. Of course, some people like to play defensive and go, OK, I'm going to put the money I've made separately, ring fence it and just carry on with a smaller size or whatever. It's very personal to you. Understand that if you are pressing harder, you're taking more risk, of course. Understand that if you're scaling back, you may be missing opportunities, but at the same time, you know, that's good for capital preservation. If that's what you're looking for, you know, wealth generation or your income, what, what's your kind of goal? How are you trading is all very, very pertinent with this decision. Um, but when you're on a good trading run, what should you do? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you want, Karen as you are. Number two, scale back. Or number three, press harder. See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.